You know, if they let you try your hand at a whole lot of jobs when I was at school, things might have been very different. Welcome to Britain's biggest careers event, where you can try your hand at everything from baking to welding. It's called the Skill Show, and you never know, it might change your life. Or maybe not. But more than 850,000 people are on apprenticeships, and one of the stars of Dragon's Den is in. All of my businesses run apprenticeship schemes, and to me that's important because taking somebody on with the passion and desire for the industry they're in is far more important to me than finding out somebody can spend three years at university getting a degree in a non-relevant industry or cause and then having to catch up with everybody else. So earning while you're learning has got to be the way forward. For ministers, events like the Skill Show, which attract young adults, school students and their mums and dads, are a win-win. Reducing youth unemployment and boosting young people's skills go absolutely hand in hand. Uh, thankfully, youth unemployment is falling, but it's still too high. And there are jobs increasingly available. There's a record number of jobs in this country. We've got to make sure that our young people have the skills that they need to take up those jobs. But while the coalition is keen on boosting both the quantity and quality of apprenticeships, the number of 16 to 18 year olds actually taking them up has fallen, which seems to fly in the face of the government's plans. Well, we had to remove some low quality provision. Um, there were some apprentices that didn't have jobs in the past, and I think every apprenticeship must be a job. We also made sure that every apprenticeship is a minimum of a year in duration, and that wasn't true in the past. Making those changes does mean that we've had to remove some low quality providers, um, but that trend is now um, reversing, and you know, there's a broad uh, plan of action to make sure that the numbers go up, as well as that increase in quality. And if you stick at it, who knows where an apprenticeship might take you? I started off as assistant to the tea boy in Lloyds of London and then found my passion working in a shop. And I got all my skills learning on the job. I had no formal education. So my apprenticeship was actually being a junior shop assistant all the way through. Apprenticeships might seem a bit retro, but increasingly these days, they're seen as an idea whose time has come, a solid way into the world of work. Hmm. Me, I think I'll stick to the day job.